Peace and blessings, y'all, in this corner box in 24. Y'all already know what it is. How's everybody doing today? Hope all is well. I'm doing pretty good. <clears throat> Can't complain. Like I always say, God is good. God is great all the time, right? No matter what happens, man. God is awesome. So, um, listen, let's get into it, man. Um, Devin Haney, man, and George Cambosis look like they're going to fight on June 4th in Australia, right? And let's be serious about this, man. George Cambosis is a clown. Okay, and he's going to suffer the same fate as Tiafimo Lopez. And the reason I say that is because he didn't learn the lesson from Tiafimo Lopez. Remember after Tiafimo Lopez beat Lomachenko, which I wanted him to win the fight? I had no problem with that. And I thought he won the fight. He did win the fight. Um, but after that win, he was up here. Right? He was undisputed, he was he was the best, he was calling shots, he was doing interviews, he was disrespecting people, and he was just getting crazy, man. Like, his, his humility was gone, humbleness out the door, and he was just really going crazy, right? Like, calling people out and just talking like he was the man. And then, you know, Lenny Ellaby, you know, had to talk about how Tifimo Lopez is not the man and how he was struggling, you know what I'm saying, to make numbers, ticket sales with that George Cambosis fight. And then there was a lot of controversy about him saying he had the COVID, but they, they, they got pictures with him on the beach, you know what I'm saying, with his wife in Europe somewhere where he was on the beach, man, and he was chilling. So, I mean, you know, it was a lot going on, man. But I say that George Cambosis is going to suffer the same fate because here he goes after beating Tiafimo Lopez. Now nah, he's the man. He's undisputed. He can do this. He can do that. He's calling the shots. Come to Australia. Let's make it happen. Like, to me, man, you don't even deserve it. Just because you're from Australia? Bro, you, you don't deserve it. To me, he don't deserve to even get the fight in Australia. You not know, you, you just became champion. Like, defend the belts, man. This is your first defense of the belt, and, you get, and, it, and it happens in your hometown? For what? You didn't get the belts there. You know what I'm saying? And even though you're from there, so what, man? Earn your way. But he already talking crazy. But I ain't really got no problem with that. All right, if they want to do it in Australia, fine. Devin Haney's with it. He don't got no problem flying 19 hours to go to Australia. He's with it. But my just thing is that George Cambosis, man, is, you know, he, first, he said he was going to fight Devin Haney, and he was leading him on, knowing damn well he really didn't want to fight Devin Haney, him and Bob Allen. And then out of nowhere, you ready to give Lomachenko a shot, even though he lost the belts. And then you had the nerve to say recently that those belts were really his, that he deserved a shot because he lost it to Lopez. But Devin Haney has been the the mandatory, has a WBC belt, is it? You need his belt to become undisputed, and he has a major belt, and he's been missing out on mandatories over and over and over. Norman Checo was supposed to fight him. Ryan Garcia was supposed to fight him, so he's been missing out. Now, here you go with the same thing. So now, you knew that you really didn't want to fight Devin Haney, Cambo said. You knew you really wanted to fight Norman Checo, but look how things happen. Look how God works. So Lomachenko was going to fight you, right? That was being set up. And then boom, the, the war happens between the Ukraine and Russia. So then you set goals over there, the heavyweight champion. And then next thing you know, people wondered about Lomachenko. Now he's over there. Okay? Now, yes, he was given a, a, um, he was given a recommendation or he was given a, a pass that he could come, that he could go to Australia on June 4th and have the fight. But I don't know what else happened. And he decided, or they decided, that nah, he was just gonna stay in the Ukraine and to help to defend his country. Okay, so what did that do? That just opened the way back up for who? For the one that should've got the fight in the first place, Devin Haney, right? So now you're back to that, George Campos, the fight that you really don't want. The fight that you're gonna lose. 
and lose those belts. And then you're going to be in the same position as Teofimo Lopez trying to figure out what you're going to do. Because at the end of the day, even with that fight with Teofimo Lopez, you still was lumped up. You still was cut up. You still was bruised up. You still looked bad, even though you won. So let's not act like you beat him unanimously and you bust him up and it was a clear-cut win and, 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 and you suffered nothing. Like, you look terrible. Y'all both look terrible. Two, two, y'all look like two fighters, not boxers. No defense at all. Y'all was just hitting each other at will, okay? But with Devin Haney, it's not going to be like that. Devin Haney going to tear you out the frame. He going to tear you up. He going to hit and make you miss. It's a different fight, and that's the type of fight you didn't want, okay? See, you would have rather fight Lomachenko to give him a shot, but you don't want to give the one that really deserves the, sh the, 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 the shot who has a belt, a major belt, a WBC belt. Lomachenko didn't have no belts, but that's that Bob Arum, ESPN, you know, that's that favoritism. But like I said, look how God works. So now Devin Haney's going to get the shot that he deserved in the first place. And now you're talking about, oh, Devin Haney, this 19-hour flight. Man, listen, he he said, man, listen, don't even worry about that. I'm, I'm going to be there. I know how long the flight is. It's, it's as long as my expletive. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to repeat the word that he said. Right? But listen, man. <laughs> Joe's getting boasted, you about to go down, man. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not humble, man. When you're not humble, guess what happens? You get humiliated. So you're going to look like Tiafima. Then now you and Tiafima Lopez, y'all can fight a rematch with each other for nothing. Because y'all going to be in the same boat. You might as well. Okay? So, yeah, man. These guys just don't learn, man. I don't get it. I don't get it. You know? Just be humble, man. They just can't do that. You ain't calling no shots, man, because you got those belts. The belts don't make the fighter. The fighter makes the belts, okay? That's why the fighters give up belts so they don't have to pay them sanctioning fees. That don't make the fighter. I'm a champion regardless. You're a champion regardless without the belts based on your resume, based on what you do. But you think belts is going to keep you solidified? It's going to keep you in a certain position? It's going to make you who you are? No, it doesn't, man. And you're about to find that out in June. When Devin Haney get on top of you. So that's all I really got, man, for today. Peace and blessings in this corner box in 24. If you have any comments, please leave your comments. Please subscribe to my page. And um, any any constructive criticism, any criticism, you know, you can bring it. Like I always say, as long as it's respectful. I'm not here to, you know, get into no curse out, wash out with anybody over my analysis, because I'm not perfect, I can be wrong. However, it's all about respect, and I get it. Some of us just don't know how to handle our emotions. We get a little crazy. You know, it's all right, though. I could take criticism. Don't get me wrong. I could take constructive criticism, definitely. Okay, and if I, if I ever make an error on a video about information, about a fighter, about records, about any aspect of a fighter that, you know, that I mention and, and is wrong, please let me know. And I'll correct it right away because I've done it already. Okay? But it is what it is, man. All right? I try to give the best information, the correct information, and I do my research. Okay? So that's what it's all about, man. Peace and blessings in this corner, Boxing 24.